What's up, y'all? Uh, I've had a lot of people ask about a walkthrough of my, uh, my 10 drawer roll cart. So this is two five drawer roll carts from Harbor Freight. Uh, butchered, modified, a little bit of bush latte, a little bit of redneck engine duty, some duct tape, some rivets. I'm just kidding on the duct tape. There's no duct tape. Uh, so I figured I'd give it a walkthrough real quick. Uh, I started the, the whole point when I did this box is I wanted my most used stuff at the top. Uh, I hated the, the half drawers at the top. Uh, those are down at the bottom. The stuff I use less frequently is down there. Um, wrenches are up top. That was my main thing. I wanted my wrenches up top, sockets in the very top. Uh, I wanted to be able to access my tools uh, that I use the most, the easiest. Uh, it's also just the right height. So uh, this is about mid chest level, lower chest level for me. It's 50 inches height total. Uh, so me when I'm working, like if I'm up in the, the hood of a pickup, I can still reach into my, my cart. Uh, we'll start at the bottom, I guess. Uh, wiring stuff, power probe, I build a little go box. That way, you know, if I got to go wire something, I can grab that. And it's got about 98% of what I need. Uh, drill, cutoff wheel, bits. Uh, hose and line tools, picks, stuff to pull uh, calipers off. Or not, excuse me, not calipers, rotors. Uh, this is a take two, and I fucked it up the first time too. Rotors, drums, uh, push those off. Uh, it's my junk drawer, because everybody's got a junk drawer, right? Batteries, some, some random check balls for 6L80s, eye drops. Yeah, there's all kinds of shit in there. Uh, more wiring stuff. Carbide bit, brushes, surface prep. Uh, another junk drawer, I, when I built this, I had so much room coming from a five drawer to this that I didn't know what to do with this drawer. So it caught my breaker bar, torque wrenches, wallet, uh, my gun, uh, my firearm, if, uh, if if I'm too sweaty or under somebody's dash, I don't like showing my gun. So I'll put it in here. Uh, my snap on receipts, cause I'm an addict. Uh, hammers, punches, air hammer. That uh, that snap-on air hammer is a beast. Uh, I love it. Uh, hood prop rod. If you don't have a hood prop rod, you've probably been smacked in the top of the head by a, uh, a hood latch a couple times. Plier drawers. Pipe wrench. That dude's pretty awesome. Uh, the rubber band so I can wrap it up and it doesn't fall upside down. Uh, wrenches. You'll notice I don't have a lot of SAE in my box. Uh, that's the SAE wrenches. If I need SAE, I go to my other box. Uh, ratcheting wrenches. I got Icon. They're not terrible. Uh, they kind of catch. I don't know. I'm probably going to upgrade them and take these home. Uh, line wrenches. Uh, flank drive snap-on. I absolutely love these. You'll notice a lot of my tools are uh, color-filled. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, that identifies my stuff from everybody else's in the shop. Uh, top drawer sockets and ratchets, impacts, uh, air cat is where it's at. Uh, this thing will break it loose or break it off. Extensions, torques, e torques, allens. Uh, again, the uh, the entirety of the SAE in my box are those a 9 16 and 9 16 and a 1 inch because Dodds likes to use that on their uh, axle bolts and lug nuts. Uh, half inch impact cobalt. I beat the living shit out of these. Honestly, I love them. Uh, some of them quite literally beat the shit out of. Uh, I don't think that's what they meant when they said they're impacts, but whatever. Uh, Matco wobbles. I love these. They're not a ball wobble. They've kind of got a, a four spline deal going on. I've had those for oh, six or eight years. Love them. Uh, 12 point that are about to go in my other box because I really honestly don't use a lot of 12 point uh, Six point shallow deep quarter I'm, I'm working on getting The the mid depths so kind of upgrading my my trays as I go This little dude here is probably one of my favorite and most used ratchets uh, It's a quarter inch ratchet with a 3 8 drive uh, faceplate and uh, internal swap uh, super time super fine teeth uh, if it's something tight, I'll break it loose with a bigger ratchet and then run it off with that. Uh, it's probably a third of the weight of my 3.8 stubby. 
Um, I, I like the heck out of it. Uh, don't mind the mess. <laughs> coast, uh, coast headlamp, extra batteries, gloves, because I don't like to wash my hands that much and wash them all the time. My, my hands were all dry, cracky, uh, whatever. So that's, uh, that's, that's it. That's my five-door cart. Um, I love it. I've had it. Let me see. I, I got the, the first cart about two and a half years ago. Um, six months or so, I got another cart and uh, threw them together, butchered them up, drilled a lot of rivets, moved some drawers. Uh, it was a blast, man. Uh, I've built three more of them. Uh, my coworker, this is his box over here. I'm gonna show his shit off. <laughs> so that's my coworker's box. We did the same basic setup. Uh, his, he wanted more room underneath. So it's actually the bottom is the factory OEM, whatever you want to call it, uh, cubby on the bottom. And then we just stacked it from there up. His is like 50, 55 or 56 inches tall. Uh, mine is 50 inches. Uh, it is nice. I can sit here, lean against it. Uh, Put this deal on top so i'm not sitting on the, the hard corner uh it's one of the side pieces braces um i also got a lot of grief about that dude why'd you put the push handle down here um it's a nice footrest i'm lazy sometimes i don't know maybe i gotta call o'reilly's and or call and get authorization to work on something i'm gonna lean on some shit when i can i'm a vet and my knees fucking suck um but no, I, I, I love it. Um, I know the, the new US General Cart is uh, a lot like the designs of the Sun-X, Snap-on, Matco. Uh, I think everybody pretty well has a cart like that. Uh, that's probably why US General, uh, Harbor Freight, whatever you want to call them. Uh, that's probably why they went to that design of cart. Um, but I, I really like this cart. Uh, the, the setup is a lot more versatile for, for what I'm trying to do with it. Uh, you know, those six, eight drawer carts, there's really, you, you run out of room. Uh, not necessarily you run out of room. There's a lot of uh, cubic inches in it, but you run out of like this drawer's this, this drawer's that. There's only six drawers. Uh, I've got 10 drawers. Um, two of them I don't even know what to do with. So I guess, you know, maybe I only do need six or eight drawers. But uh, do you guys have any questions? Uh, eventually I will make another one of these. Um, I'm on my third, third stack. Uh, the next one will be number four. Uh, I built a, a red, white, and blue cart uh, with my buddy. Actually, he ended up doing most of the work. He built the other two with me, uh, and he acquired a, a red cart and a blue cart, and we used some of my leftover uh, white pieces and built a red, white, and blue one. It's it's pretty cool. Um, I'll see if I can throw some pictures in uh, of that one. Um, I do really like the new uh, slate gray or whatever whatever gray it is uh, carts that U.S. General just came out with. And I honestly can't wait to, I, I almost, tax return came back and I almost went to Harbor Freight and was like, hey, give me two of those. And, and then took them home, cut them all up. <laughs> um, but now I, eventually I will get a, a video made, uh, a really in-depth how-to. When I built my first one, my white one here, uh, I took a lot of pictures for the first like two thirds of it. <laughs> and then I was in like 16 hours total of, of doing this the first time. Uh, so eventually I just got, I was ready to be done. Um, it was a, it was a very long weekend and I got it done and was back here ready for work Monday morning. Uh, the last one took us about six, seven hours. Um, and then the, or excuse me, not the last one, that yellow one took about six or seven hours. The red, white, and blue one, we probably had that thing knocked out in about five hours. Uh, so yeah, you know, it's getting more efficient. The process is there. I already know a lot of the measurements. Um, I don't have to sit back and brainstorm, scratch my head, drink a couple beers and figure out how the hell we're gonna make that work. Um, so a, a lot of the, a lot of small details have been hashed out. So I think this next one, uh, I'll probably be able to throw a GoPro on a, on a strap and go through and try to get you guys a, a better how to. Uh, there's a couple different ways to stack these. And honestly, one of them is you take and you cut like in the middle of that uh, about to play my solo. My G8 just did that. I dropped the DOD lifter. Anyway, sidebar. That, that was. I'm getting lost on a tangent there. Uh, one of the one of the ways methods is to cut the top half off, uh, and then you lose. I've seen people say, "Well, you lose the storage of the top." They're like you take two tops, and now you only have one top, so you lose that storage. I th I think you lose that storage as in my other top. Uh, well, it's on the red, white, blue cart now, but his blue top. Um, 
I'm gonna turn into like, I don't know, some kind of a tool chest, uh, hang on the wall, make it a first aid kit. I have no idea, but it's still a usable piece. Um, I just don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet. But if you cut that deal off, man, you lose, you lose a, a random part that you could do some other stuff with. Um, so I'm not a fan of that that method. Um, I, I like the the cutting the chest apart, drilling the rivets, and riveting the chest together. Um, because you you end up with more leftover stuff, and when you have leftover stuff, you get to do weird stuff with your leftover stuff. Like ideas just come out of nowhere. So. Uh, well, I'll make another video uh, at some point and maybe show you guys the process of how I built this box and what well, worked for me. Uh, it, it's like everything. It's just like shooting. It's it's like driving. It's like sports car or not sports car. Excuse me. It's like uh, sporty cars, um, uh, modifying stuff. Not everybody. Not, the same thing doesn't work for everybody. A uh, cookie cutter just is inapplicable. Um, but I, I like to be able to see what ways are out there, how, how people do stuff, and try it, see see what works best for me. Uh, and this ended up working best for me. So, till next time, guys. Have a good one.